Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for joining me for another vlog. This week is gonna be like a weekly vlog and it's Monday today and I'm going on holiday on Friday. So in this vlog, I'm going to include all of the beauty prep, like pre-holiday glow up um, and all of the like beauty treatments ahead of holiday. I love that week before you go on holiday of like getting everything done. And the first port of call today is the hairdressers. I'm literally outside now, I'm a few minutes early so I thought I'd chat to you before I go in. But my hair, like for me, this is quite long and it's great because it goes up in a ponytail with like all the sides going in but I think when it's down like it just feels a bit clumpy around my face so I don't want to go short short but like I don't want to the thing is is like I had this last cut at the beginning of April so it's lasted me well I feel like if I don't go that short I'm gonna need it cut again I might go like like that um, I've got my laptop with me because I need to edit a video whilst like my foils are developing. A quick squirt of perfume. I've got the Furla um, one. I actually broke the lid, which is really annoying. Nice quick little spritz of that. Uh, I haven't worn this denim shirt in ages, but it's a bit chilly this morning, so I thought I'd pop this on. Anyway, I'm rambling and it's two minutes for my appointment, so I'm gonna go in now. with Grace now and we are foiling up so I'm gonna leave it over to Grace to give you all of the details of what we're doing <laughs> over to you <laughs> <laughs> so what we're doing is we are foliaging up to the root um, still giving it really blended um, so we're using Blondor and 9% um, Blondor is Laurier uh, What's the brand? Is it uh, Weller? Weller Bleach. Weller Bleach. Um, and then we will let that process for about 50 minutes. Um, and then we will tone with Weller Toner um, the a rip, like usual shades that we do on Laura's hair is 916 and 881. Oh. I love that you So yeah, that is like a creamy, creamy ash. Creamy ash. But yeah. still like a Scandi blonde, so still natural. That's it. Yeah, it's such a nice colour, the toner. Yeah. Also, the foiler, foliage, is like as if you were going to have like how you'd have a normal highlight with like the weave and then Grace exactly. like back combs it. So it makes it more, more like, blended. yeah, more blended and it grows out really nicely. But then but, you can still take it up to the roots, so it means that you still feel blonde. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't feel like um, a what, block. Yeah, block it doesn't block it or yeah. like. Or stripey. Yeah, also the first time I had it done, I was worried. I was like, Grace, is it going to make all my hair knotty? Like, I might get it up with all the back combing, but it doesn't, does it, weirdly? No, as long as it's, as long as it's back combed properly <clears throat> and not, um, you know, back comb messy, then it will be absolutely fine. It's all good. Yeah. So we're nearly there. Nearly there, just got this nearly little section there. to do and then we can let you cook. my hair done. I just feel like 
not quite me until I put makeup on, if you know what I mean. I feel like, especially because my face is quite pale, it's like all blending in. But when I put makeup on, I know it will like it all come together. But I'm really, really happy with it. Grace does such a good job with the colour. I'm always so, so pleased with the blonde and the cut is really nice. We just trimmed, I say we, she just trimmed my fringe a bit. Um, so it just kind of sits there. It got really long. Um, so I've just been finishing, well not finishing, I'm still not finished. This is taking ages to edit for me. It's taken me ages to edit this video for some reason. Um, it's my holiday haul, which is hopefully gonna be going live tonight. Um, so it'll already be live when I'm filming this vlog. Um, so there's like lots of new pieces that I bought to try on for my holiday. On the way home from the hairdressers, I was hungry. It was nearly lunchtime. But you know, do you ever get in those moods where you like just can't be bothered to make anything at home? So I did pick up something a bit naughty on the way home. I actually only have roughly like two of these a year, but I had a Greg's. I had a chicken bake and it was just the perfect temperature. It was delicious. Now I am about to go for my bikini wax. So I'm obviously not gonna take you to that appointment, um, but I will catch up with you later. We have got some new bedding and we've always had plain white bedding since we've lived here, but this has got a very faint little beige stripe on it, which is so nice. Um, it's from Dusk and it's one of their linen sets. And look at the cute little um, like tie details on the pillowcases, I really love those. And they've also got them at the bottom of the bed here. So cute. And then also the pillows are from Dusk. Um, these are actually the Super King pillows because it's a Super King bed. That's why they look extra long. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday morning. I'm feeling as, as, as dead as I look, basically. In the week, although my job looks quite glamorous on Instagram sometimes, like my my like me doing it is the most unglamorous i spend most of my days looking like this um because i'm just like at home on my own all the time by the way i'm just doing a little bit of washing up if you're wondering what that noise was um and yeah so that's why sometimes i just don't come on because i think oh i don't want to come on looking like that but this is the reality so this morning i have been well like the sun has just gone in but it's been a really nice morning so i've just got like four loads of washing out on the line. I had some like returns to parcel up, so I have done those. Um, I've just been like tidying the house and just like getting bits and bobs done. I was at a hen party um, the weekend just gone. It wasn't excessive late nights, but I reckon I was in bed at like half 12 both nights. But for me, that's like late and all of that socializing and like chatting to people all day. It's just like exhausted me and I feel like so tired from it. The reason I'm actually at the sink is because I want to wash my makeup brushes. I'm actually just gonna use Fairy Liquid. I actually find that like this is the best because it gets any um, like grease out as well. And what I basically do is just pop a little bit of Fairy Liquid in the palm of my hand and then just clean them like that. So today's beauty treatment i feel like i've literally got a beauty treatment every day this week is my brows i'm having them laminated i'm so sorry i'm not actually wearing a bra i'm still wearing my pajamas i've been up since 6 30 but i just haven't got dressed yet because i've just been doing other stuff and also i'm not actually going to properly get dressed until i need to go out i'm going to leave a bit earlier for my brow so i can drop those parcels off on the way and alongside filming this vlog this week i'm also filming a pack with me vlog but that's going to be separate so every time i pick up the camera i have to think okay which like what vlog am i filming for now and trying to like make it all make sense i've got these linen trousers from h&m they are actually quite see-through um and i wore them last year on holiday but look how long they are i wore them with heels last year like even i'm super like tiptoeing and they're still touching the floor like they're so long I want to take these up for holiday and I normally wear flat sandals so I bought some Hemingweb and I'm going to have a go at taking these up. So first of all I've got some of these little hair clips and I like clip up how much I want to take up. So I've turned the trouser inside out and this is how much I want to take it up by. Here's my Hemingweb. So let's hope that this works. Okay this is my first time ever doing this so no judgement please. Okay let's 
see. Right, what I have... Ah! Oh. Okay, it's all unraveled. What I have seen online is you cut, like, the same length, and then this will kind of tuck in there, and we will repeat on both sides. So, shall I do two layers to make sure it's, like, super stuck, or is that not really necessary? Because it's quite a big tuck, like, because it's quite a lot I'm taking up, I'm going to... I'm going to do two, because I want it to, um... Like, make sure it's secure. Moment of truth. Oh my god, it's actually stuck? Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, let's flip over. like how well that has worked where because they are a linen trouser you can see like of the like where it's doubled at the bottom but I feel like it looks like it's part of the trouser which I don't mind at all well I'm quite chuffed with myself for my first go now I want to like go and take up everything but that was so much easier than I thought okay amazing I haven't had a coffee this morning yet Loving the grind ones at the moment. These are compostable, so you can put them in your food compost bin, which is amazing. You'd have noticed that I've gone back to my Nespresso machine. We did have a bigger, like, proper barista machine, but I just found it took me ages to make a coffee and then to tidy it up, and it tasted exactly the same as this. Um, I just find this super quick, tidy, and so easy. I'm going to pop a little bit of my vanilla sugar-free um, syrup in. You'd be pleased to know I finally had a shower and got dressed. Um, so, because I'm having my brows laminated today, it means that you can't get them wet for 48 hours after. So, I had my hair done yesterday and washed, so I won't need to wash my hair. But I don't want to put any makeup on today because I just find a bit of a faff trying to get your makeup off without, like, getting your brows wet. So, I'm just going to do skincare today. Um, and when my skin is feeling, like, a bit tired, I really love using this. It's from a Trini London. I don't actually think that I've spoken about it before, but I've been loving it. It's the Enzyme Balm Cleanser. And basically, you start off with two pumps on dry skin. So, uh, as it said, like in the name, it's an enzyme balm cleanser. So it gives your skin like a very deep clean, but the enzymes kind of break down any dead skin cells, any kind of crap on like the surface level. Um, and I find this, yeah, feels really, really nice after. I think a cleanser is often like really overlooked. It's like people more focus on like serums and moisturizers. But if you're not cleaning your skin, if you're not getting like that first step right, then kind of following on, um, nothing's gonna like work as well if you haven't got like clean skin, if you're not getting all of that kind of dirt off of your skin. Okay, moving on. Um, I have just like towel dried my skin. It already looks like glowier, doesn't it? Like fresher and glowier. The Caudalie Beauty Elixir, I'm gonna spritz over. This product um, has had a new packaging recently, but same amazing formula. It's such a satisfying mist. It's so nice. Oh, I've just got a mouthful of it. This has just got like so much goodness in for your skin. I use this night and morning. I've had many of these before and this is just like the new packaging one. Um, yeah, use it night and morning before, like after cleansing and before any serums. You can use it throughout the day to freshen up. It's on holiday because on the beach, you know, sometimes if you've been in the sea and your skin's just feeling a bit tight and dry, spritz this on. Um, you can refresh makeup with it. It's got loads of really, really great stuff in there for your skin. 
Um, I'm feeling very pale, um, so I'm gonna just pop a bit of tan on my face. I'm gonna use the Bare by Vogue. It's the face tanning serum. I use the shade medium. Now you can obviously apply this with your hands, but then you need to wash your hands and I'm being super lazy and can't be bothered to wash my hands after as I've literally just washed my hands from the cleanser. So I use this little brush for tanning my face, tanning hands and stuff, but you like can get exactly, <laughs> like it doesn't really make a difference what you apply it with. This smells, like sweets, like, do you remember those um, necklaces you used to get with the sweets on that you'd like eat them off and then you'd just be left with a string? What are they called? I want a nice like bronze complexion and this gives you that like being on holiday but haven't been sitting in the sun look. Um, and I feel like since I've had my hair done and needs like a bit of color to my face, I'm looking very pale. A very casual outfit to go and have my brows done. This shirt, I love this, it's from Zara, last year I think. Just like a very fine cord shirt. I've literally just got leggings and Birkenstocks on. On my lips, I have got, I'm balancing you on the kitchen, pa kitchen paper thingy. Um, I've got what I had on yesterday. It's the Fenty Skin Cherry Treat Conditioning Lip Oil. I'm loving it. Oh, it feels so nice. And this applicator, look how big it is. So satisfying. Anyway, oh, the weather is so grey and I've got loads of washing out on the line. I don't know what to do. Well, I'm not getting it in. I've checked the Met Office and it says it's not going to rain, so fingers crossed. It is much later in the day now and yes, I have got my pyjama bottoms on because it's actually come out quite hot um, and these are nice and like thin and cotton and I just wanted to like put some loose trousers on. Um, but today's actually turned into a bit of a funny day. I went to get my brows done. Let me show you up close. Hi. So happy with them. I wish they would just stay like that all the time. Self-raising flower. So yes, I'm in very impromptuing making some cakes because... So, a few things quickly. I have got the hormone coil. So I don't really get periods. So I never know when I'm like on, if you know what I mean. Like because I don't have periods, I don't know when I'm technically, like, what's it like having a period, going through that phase? But you know the mental things, you know, like the extra, like, you feel a bit tearful and the rest of it, like hungry, tired, all of that. I get all of that. So sometimes I will get that and then be like, oh, it could be my period, but I don't actually know because I'm actually not having a period. Anyway, I think I'm having that. I just really fancied some just little fairy cakes. This actually happens quite a lot. This is my period craving, it's less like, fairy cakes hot and fresh out of the oven. I'm literally gonna make a small batch, so I'm not gonna, like I kind of want this to get the full snug out. I think I might just do it by hand. So I've got my baking box down, my little trays, I've got all of the ingredients out, so I'm just gonna make these. And I, I feel like I've had a bit of a cry this afternoon because um, on the way home from getting my eyebrows done, a friend, like an old friend, phoned me um, and let me know that like a really old school friend's mum had passed away and it just like sat with me all afternoon but I haven't spoke to them in about 10 years but like we were close growing up and it just I just feel like gave me that wake up call of like life is so precious and we have like we just never know what time we have here and I know it's like a cliche saying but really making the most out of life and you know enjoying the little moments and feeling, you know, being really appreciative for what you've got and basically just enjoying, it's about, I think life is about enjoying the little moments and enjoying the journey of life. Um, and yeah, it just, I don't know, it's just made me feel quite sad this afternoon. And then I was on Facebook and I saw this video compilation of all of these missing dogs. And I think that just like, me off. I then went for a walk with Bertie because we I hadn't taken him out all day and it was a nice like coming into a nice evening. Tom's gone to the gym and I just thought I fancy some cake so <laughs> before dinner I'm like trying to eat healthy this week but it's just like completely going out the window. Um, so yeah before I make a nice healthy dinner I'm gonna make some cakes.
oven is on for the cakes. I'm going to make dinner. So just using up what we got and we had some salmon in the freezer and he doesn't like salmon. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna do my dinner now and he can sort his when he gets home. Um, I've got some sweet potato, tender stem broccoli, some pepper and salmon to use. And, okay, and what I'm gonna do is cut up the sweet potato, bake that in a dish for a little bit. Then I'm gonna put in the salmon, and pepper and broccoli and like cover it in lots of pesto and olive oil. I think it's gonna be delicious. I'm just winging it. The camera's really low down. Sweet potatoes out. We're gonna put that in. Got some peppers, and then. is in the oven i'm gonna get the washing in i feel like it's in a very raw me today look at my hair look at my trousers this is real life <laughs> Today's part of the vlog has been so boring, um, but I'm actually going to put some makeup on tomorrow. So I'm going to let this dinner cool down, eat that, ice my cakes. I need to put the washing away. I need to have a bit of a house tidy and then watch for Island. So I will catch up with you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is now the next day. Um, before I put on any makeup, just wanted to show you the like color that the bare by vogue serum it gives you so as i said i use the color medium but do you know what i mean by it gives you like a bean on holiday look without getting all the sun damage so loving it and i'm definitely going to take that on holiday with me so yesterday when i spoke to you like the sad news didn't end there yesterday you probably would have seen online that um dame deb oh my god my throat's going <clears throat> dame deborah james passed away yesterday and it's so much thoughts around it but it's just so so sad i will leave her um donation page below she's done such an incredible job at raising so much money and helping so many other people um so yeah i'll leave that linked below if you can help at all i really wanted to have a better day today and one thing that i know always like makes me feel more productive and makes me like just feel better is actually getting ready so i'm gonna do some makeup and then i feel like my hair like i haven't really enjoyed my new hair yet because i've been wearing like no makeup and seriously scruffy clothes so i'm actually gonna get myself ready and feel a bit more presentable today <laughs> Recently, I got the new Charlotte Tilbury. This is the um, Sun Kiss, ugh, Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. And when I just showed it on my stories, a lot of you asked me to compare it to the. Um, oh my gosh, what's going on with my brain this morning? Compare it to the Chanel one. This is my second pot of Chanel, and this has lasted me years. I mainly use this in the summer and when I'm having like a no makeup makeup look because. It's so, like, it just blends in so nicely. It just gives your face this gorgeous radiance. I 100% much prefer the Chanel one over the Charlotte Tilbury one. I've got shade number one. I'm not going to put it on now, but when I put the colour on, there's something, like, the colour's not right for me. And also, I find that it went quite patchy after a while. I'm just, like, yeah, it's just not my favourite. If you're looking for a cream bronzer, I would really recommend the Chanel one. Um... This is like my apps, like my holiday must have product.
have been busy vlogging my come pack with me video it's getting really confusing now like which like when I pick up the camera like what am I filming for so whilst I was getting everything sorted thought I would decide what I'd wear to the airport so here is my airport outfit H&M linen trousers uh, these are the M&S tan sandals you would have seen these if you watched my holiday haul um, a little vest so that when I get there I can take the shirt off these are new Estella Bartlett necklaces. I got this one with like the coloured beads. It's so different to anything else I've got and it feels like very holiday. Um, the Weather basket bag and suitcase. I've just been to go and get my toes done and I haven't worn this for ages but and it's really nice actually isn't it? I think that they've still got it online. It's from Pretty Lavish. They've got other colours as well. But yeah, I love that. Anyways, I've had my toes done and I went for a very similar colour. Oh, it was called chocolate. My, I hate, like, <laughs> I hate feet. I don't want to show them too up close. I went for like a dark colour um, on my toes. The other day I showed you our new bed in, which is so... Bertie. Our new bedding, which I absolutely love the pattern of. It's white with these like gorgeous beige stripes. These like cute little ties on the pillows. Like it's so nice, but it's linen. And I mean, I should have known this um, when I chose this one, but for me, linen bedding is a no. Like it, I just do not find it comfortable at all. I find it quite itchy and I'm so used to um, Dusk's other bedding, which is like super soft. It's just the fabric, it's not, it's just not right for me. So, so I'm actually just gonna change the sheets for um, one of my other dusk sets. Oh my God, <laughs> look at my hair. I let it air dry, like naturally dry. And it's really, I felt like it's really humid today. And just look at it, look at it. It looks like a, a big triangle. Um, and also I look so, Red on camera. Oh, I don't want that all the way. Anyway, um, I started to edit this vlog last night and it's already really long, so I'm not going to uh, make it any longer. But I'm at my final appointment. Can you hear that? I'm at my final beauty appointment for the week and that is my nails. So I'm a bit early for my appointment, so I'm just waiting outside. I'm just finishing up some emails quickly on my phone while I'm waiting. Um, last night I stayed up really late to get as much of this vlog edited um, before I go on holiday as possible so that I can get up as soon as possible. Um, so yeah, final appointment of the day is the nail. I don't know what colour I'm going to go with yet. Probably nothing too different to what I normally go for, but I will show you later. As I said, I wasn't going to go for anything different. Here are my holiday nails. This is the gel bottle and it's the Biab colour called Dreamer. So as you can see, I am now on holiday. So this has been a long one. So if you are still here now, thank you so much. And I do have another video coming soon, which I will be editing while I'm here. And that is my um, pack with me, like what I'm taking and all of that kind of stuff. And then whilst I'm here, I'm hoping to film like what I'm wearing. So like kind of each day and each evening, I will share what I have actually been wearing on holiday. So I hope you're all doing really well and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.